close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to do this with a sense of conviction, because conviction is strength. If you don't believe that something's going to give results and then you do it, you, you don't put your heart into it and you don't really get the results. So put some conviction into this, and you know the mind is the cause of what you do and say and think, and you know the mind needs to be trained. So this is how you train it. You train it in mindfulness by keeping the breath in mind, and you train it in alertness by watching the breath and trying to stay with it continually. Because all too often we just kind of jump around. Jump here, jump there, and the mind is used to jumping around. It's not used to staying in one place. And because we're jumping around, we don't see things clearly. And we can't gather the strength of the mind together in one place because it's jumping around all the time. But the strength of the mind is really important. We live by strength of body and strength of mind. And if you were to ask which of the two is more important, it's got to be strength of mind. Because the body's going to deteriorate. Everybody knows we got weaker as we get older. And you see other people happening to other people and say, well, it's not going to happen to me. And then it happens to you. This is unavoidable. Everybody finds this happening in their lives. And then as you get older, then there's, it's more likely you're going to have illnesses and finally you die. So that's how much you can depend on the body. You've depended on it up to now for lots of things, but there comes a point where it's just going to let you down. That's where you really have to depend on strength of the mind. And strength of the mind has to be developed. It has to be taken care of every day because there's so many ways that we waste the strength of our mind. It's like it leaks out all the time. It leaks out our eyes, out our ears. We go focusing on things that are bad for us to think about, looking at things that are bad for the mind, listening to things that are bad for the mind, thinking things that are bad for the mind. And our strength just wastes away. So you've got to learn how to train the mind. If it's going to think about something, think about something that's really useful. Think about something that strengthens it, strengthens its qualities of alertness and mindfulness, discernment and concentration. So this is why we meditate, is to give the mind some strength. So as the body weakens, we still have strength of mind to go on. So that when illness comes or when aging comes, you don't say, why me, why me? You just face, well, this, is, this is happens to everybody and that's at the time it happens to you. Okay, you're ready for it because you've prepared the strength of your mind. So even if you're young, you have to think down the road a ways and think, okay, what's going to happen to me down the road? What am I going to be able to depend on? And you see other people as they get sick and old, and it gets to a point where they get beyond your help. And if they're suffering, it hurts a lot to see them suffering. There's nothing much you can do. So you don't want to be that kind of burden on other people. You say, okay, I'm going to take care of my mind so that even when the body gets sick and the body gets old, even when it dies, the mind is still going to be in good shape. It's going to be alert and confident. You know that you've developed good things in your life. You know that you've developed good qualities in your mind. You can depend on them, and you'll see it right at that point. It's not that you wait till that point to see it. You begin to see it right now. But you really appreciate how valuable this is when the strength of the body wastes away and all you've got left is strength of mind. So make sure the strength of mind is really strong. Exercise it every day like this, and it won't let you down. <laughs>